Okay. Hello, Candace. Danny Lifford here. Hi, Danny. How are you? Hey, I'm doing fantastic. Glad to be with you again. You too. Thank you so much. I always appreciate it. Sure, absolutely. You know, one thing that's on everyone's mind is how to be comfortable in their homes this winter. How can we do it without uh, it costing a ton of money on our power bill? Well, there's a lot of things you can do yourself. A lot of them you need to leave to the professionals. But here's a great winter heating list from our friends at Carrier. First of all, have that furnace serviced by a professional to make sure it's safe and operating as efficiently as it should. Also, not too late to seal up the envelope of the home with caulking and weather stripping, any type of gaskets that you can seal up that envelope to keep the cold air from affecting the expensive heated air you have inside your home. Change your furnace filters on a regular basis to keep that indoor air quality like it should be. And if you really want to step up, the whole house ventilation system is really a great way to go. Carrier has a great one there too called the Infinity System. And you want to make sure you think about your system. If your heating and cooling system is over 12 years old, you need to start budgeting for a brand new one because it's reached the end of its life expectancy. And the newer systems are so much more efficient than the older ones. And what are some of the most popular indoor projects? Well, I'll tell you a term I've been hearing more than ever before, drop zone. That's an area right inside your main entry door to your house. It's kind of an organizational system that'll allow you to, you know, have the kids take off their shoes, backpacks, that kind of thing. And my daughter, Chelsea, uh, who works with me on my national television show, recently helped these homeowners build an excellent looking drop zone. And she's anxious to show it off to you right now. Yeah, Candace, if you're anything like me, you'll want one of these in your house. The nice beadboard and the bench for the kids to sit on. There's two kids that live here, so they use it to take their shoes off after school. And that's perfect, especially when you look at what it looked like before. It was just an empty alcove that was underutilized and certainly uninspired. So we got to work, we got the materials cut, we sanded everything and primed it, and then brought them back inside and started the assembly. And I love the results and I certainly think it's utilized way more than it was before, but we put everything together with tools that the homeowner had on hand from Black & Decker, including this cool matrix system where you can take the drill head off and snap in any of these other tool attachments, including a sander and a little circular saw. And they also have full-size power tools like this jigsaw and circular saw that we also use. But my favorite is really cool. It takes the the uh, thought process out of drilling in a screw would be auto sense because it stops the screw when it's flush so you don't uh, put it in too far and strip your wood and uh, cause it to split. Now Candace, don't you think these would look really good under my tree this Christmas? <laughs> and mine. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I learned how to use them. <laughs> And what are some of the best tricks to get organized around the house? Well, you know, one of the best uh, places that you can grab some space that's, that's rarely utilized is up in the attic. And Chelsea and I also use the Black & Decker tools to build these really nice shelves that are attached to the rafters to get everything up off the floor there. But the problem is still you're having to carry those heavy boxes up and down the stairs, and that can be really dangerous, really inconvenient. But we solved that problem by installing something called a VersaLift. It's just so cool how it just comes right out of the ceiling. It's about two foot by four foot. And it's very much like a dumbwaiter or an elevator, but you never want any kids or family members to get on the Versa lift. But it's really, it makes so much sense to have someone in the attic loaded up for you. Then you push a button and it comes right down. You're able to access everything. And then after the holidays are over or after you're ready to store things, you push the button again and it goes right back up into the attic to be offloaded onto some of the shelving. So it really utilizes a lot of the space there, but in the past where you've had a you know, pretty inconvenient and unsafe situation in hauling those boxes up and down, now you have a situation that can make it much safer. Just think about all of that space you have available just waiting on you right up above you. And are there some simple things we can do to spruce up the house before the holiday gathering? Well, so many people will be coming over to your house and, you know, they're going to go through the front door. You might as well spruce it up a little bit, you know, putting a coat of paint on the front door. And another thing that a lot of people are realizing, you can use specially formulated paint to paint light fixtures, whether they're plastic or metal. It just takes a little bit of time to remove them or you can paint them in place and then you can seal, you know, tape it all up where the glass is, sand it, spray paint it, and you make it look 
just so much better. New, um, new welcome mat's always a good idea. And then maybe a little bit of thorough cleaning, painting handrails, anything that you can do to spruce up that front of the house to make it more welcoming to your guests is a good thing to take on this time of the year. Absolutely. And where can we go for more information and to get more ideas? I'd well, love for you to drop by our website at todayshomeowner.com. A lot of information for you there. Over 3,000 videos waiting on you to help you with some of the challenges we all face with our with our homes and being a homeowner. And uh, certainly appreciate, Candace, for you having us on today. Well, I appreciate it, too. Thank you so much, as always. Okay, Have a great afternoon. Okay, you as well. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.